Hello folks and welcome. Linux Mint 21.1 Cinema. So today I am filming in 3840 by 2160 at 200% scaling. This has a large relevance of what I'm going to be talking about today. So I'm going to be talking about backgrounds or some people call it wallpaper. You can bring in wallpaper yourself or pictures and make that your backgrounds. Digital photos of your kids, your pets, your friends. You can also use the ones that are built in from Linux Mint. So you may not have paid attention to this when you're selecting backgrounds, if you've used Mint for more than a day, of what size those frames are. So I'm going to emphasize some of that today because it does have a large relevance on your screen resolution, on your particular computer, monitor, or device. All right. So again, I'm filming in 3840 by 2160 at 200 percent scaling. Today I'm going to be talking about applets, two applets specifically. One of them has a direct interface to another tool you probably have already used. And I'll place that tool on your panel bar. That tool cannot be removed. It can only be turned on and off. And then the other applet is uh, one that you can install to pull wallpapers off different sources of the internet. Wallpaper or backgrounds, depending on how you view that. In other words, the image in the background. Welcome, folks. None of my videos are going to be uh, less than two minutes on my new YouTube channel. If you're a new subscriber um, or if you have never subscribed, I do have lots of videos for you. And I do encourage that you subscribe. So I'm going to continue by using Alt F4 and closing this. And uh, talk about this image. Believe it or not, this is a high definition image. Right click on your screen. Change desktop background. So if you've been using Mint for a day, you probably have been in here before. You're trying to pick a wallpaper, possibly from one of these default folders. Underneath the actual images is what it tells you what the frame sizes are. That's 3840 by 2160, the current one I'm reusing. It is considered 4K. This is 1920 by 1080. Not considered 4K, but it's high definition nonetheless. A very popular screen resolution for your modern smart TVs nowadays is 1080 or 4K. All right, so if you have a smart TV and a YouTube app, you can watch all of my videos there also in your high definition TVs. Again, today I'm filming in 3840 by 2160. So this would be the native re resolution for my wallpaper now or background. But this one still handles that okay. Now I'm going to click the other folders called Vanessa and Vera for a second and let you see the sizes of some of these pictures. 6,000 by 4,000. 42, 42 by 28 by 28. Very high def, very sharp, very nice. Here's another one. 6,048 by 40, 24. Also very high def. More importantly, I'm going to point out the aspect part of the the way you view the actual photo or image. This one is in a vertical fashion. This one's not. It's in a horizontal position. This one's still high def though. 2667 by 4000. However, I don't see everything in here. I can't see the steps and I only see part of the uh, blue in here. I don't see the skyline. That's because this setting right here is set for zoom. Now I'm going to turn this to scaled. Now you can see the whole image. Okay, I'll minimize that. You can see the skyline, the water, and more importantly, the stairs. That's because this is set for scaled. Now I'm going to turn this off to stretch or zoom. Let's see what the differences are. Probably not so much on this one. That one looks nicer. So again, this is how it handles your images. Some of these are very high def. Some of them are not. 6000 by 3376 is that one. It's just something that you, you can think about. Now you can bring in your own photos too. And mine are also listed by sizes also. So let me give you an example of these two. Okay, that one's 1920 by 1080. No black bars. 
1600 by 1200 still no black box because this is set for zoom let me put this back to scale now i have black bars on both sides on that image if i click this one not so much because this has enough to fill my screen so far so good you can also bring in your own folders by hitting that create your own folder first put your pictures in it your pictures of your kids your friends your family and then bring in the folder as all one unit then it where you can put it part of the tree now I'm going to talk about a tool that you may not be aware of some folks are and some folks are not I'll use the same wallpaper is under settings is this is called play backgrounds as a slideshow and so fo folks are aware of this and I have shown videos on this before but I'm going to talk about another tool that you can place on your panel bar that interfaces with this so first of all let me quickly cover that so play background this now becomes semi grayed out and you can also change the uh, which folder it's currently using so depending on where you set that it will be one minute to whatever and then play background uh, sorry play images in random order or not so this is currently turned off that means it'll start at the top and then go here 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 in whatever increments I have set here and then the next item is how is it hunt going to handle those images because you can change that so far so good all right I'm going to turn this off I'm going to leave this box up right click on my panel bar this is the easiest way to get to your applets. You can, of course, go to your Mint menu and open up system settings and click applets here also. Right click, look for that puzzle piece. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is an applet that's already built in. All you got to do is turn it on. Just type in the word slide. Slideshow. This is an applet you cannot uninstall. You can only turn it on and off and it looks like a TV screen and this directly interfaces with this so now I'm going to close that because you can see there's no configuration box however the configuration box is done in here it's currently disabled so I'm going to right click on it and turn it on when I slide this on you're going to see this activate I left this box open so you can see this all right so now it starts actually running images from whatever folder I picked in here so if I wanted to use that one it starts picking images from here now I'm going to close this. So I can also manually change the background by hitting this. Keep in mind, it's I will open up the, the box in a second for the configuration. You can also pause this. Right click, background settings, and then you can make your changes in here. So if you wanted the random, you can click that. If you wanted a different folder, you can also do this. And you're done. And now it starts doing that. Next background from that folder. Does that make sense? So pause, run, background settings, different folder. Okay, so now I'm going to use pictures folder now. And next, and next. These are just manually. If I decide to just leave it running, it's whatever this is set for. In this case, 15 minutes. So it's going to alter that. So I'm going to turn that off and what you'll see is this will go to an X because again they talk to each other. So there's a simple tool for you right here. All right now I'm going to turn it off. Applets. Slideshow off. Oh the tool is off. You still have the manual way doing X. Okay. Now I also the next tool I'm going to talk about I also don't recommend running multiple wallpaper or background tools at the same time. So I'm, I'm making specifically sure that this is turned off before I install the next tool. Applets. Right click on your panel bar. Applets. Downloads. This tool is not, not perfect, but it's a background tool nonetheless. I'm going to install that. I'm going to go to manage and turn it on. It produces what looks to be like a little green circle thingy. And it starts pulling images randomly off of a different source off the internet. All right, so it's got several different uh, things that you can turn on. The gearbox you can open up here. 
it's got four tabs with some stuff that you can affect and some of them actually change depending on the source you're using so let me close all that stuff and let's point to this tool for a second I'm just pointing at it it says it's going to change the background 15 every 15 minutes I can also click on that and save the current background and do some other options I can also right click on this and hit configure let's talk about the configuration tools you have the applets you can turn these things on and off by sliders. It also has a default area for saving your background because you can click that and save current background. It's currently set to your home folder, your username and pictures. In my case, it's Bob. Bob is just a made up name. Triggers, probably the most important one would probably be how often does the wallpaper change? The minimum is one minute. Effects, let me turn some of those tools on. If you want a grayscale, for instance, activate that. And uh, now it's got a grayscale image. I'm going to close this temporarily. And I'm going to click that and save current just to give you a demo on saving an image. Now it's currently sitting in Bob's home folder under pictures and is sitting right here. I'm going to hit the space bar. Maybe you've seen some of my photos. I'm sorry, not photos, my videos on the file manager Nemo, file manager Nemo. Spacebar to open, full screen, spacebar to close, Alt F4 to close. All right, so that's just one example. Right click, configure. So we have effects. I'm going to turn the grayscale off and hit apply. Now we're back to color. Anytime you see a photo that you are wanting to save, save current and it doesn't save the calendar with it just the background now we're going to talk about source where is the stuff coming from well this current selection is coming from unsplash i'm going to change that to bing and hit apply now these images it'll cycle and this one is coming from looks like um, um looks like salt and sea in california let's say i wanted this picture for background right click save current Open up your file manager, pictures, and there it is. I actually have two of them. So let me delete some of these images here. So, because I was redoing this video. So more importantly, I'm going to resave that. And then go back and open. And I can still do the same thing. Space bar to get a preview, full screen, space bar to close. Space bar to open, space bar to close. Aim for the... X in the corner, or I can use Alt F4, it doesn't matter. All right, so that's coming from Bing. So I can switch that to another source and hit apply. So I got Kitty over here. Save the picture of Kitty, save background. Go find it in your file manager under pictures, and here's Kitty. Spacebar to open, spacebar to close, Alt F4 to close. Just some shortcuts for you folks. All right, so depending on the uh, image source it has this next box is going to change on you let me show you the example so i'm currently on uh, place kitten and it has the option of use custom resolution okay you can see that now i'm going to switch this over to this one here for a second all right right now it's using a different background this also has a different option now this is what i'm getting at so anyways, this is not a perfect box because some of these sources also, I believe this one gave me an error the last time I used it. Yeah, see, there's no image. It's 403 error. So again, it's not perfect, but again, this is some option for you to change wallpapers or backgrounds. Okay, recap. Recap time. I'm going to turn this tool off. It's not uninstalled, by the way, but if I do this, it will be uninstalled. I can still reactivate it. Okay, so a recap of this is anytime you have a tool that changes your background or wallpaper, do not have two of them running at the same time. It, they do, they will conflict. But you can certainly install variety. You can activate these applets, whether it's the um, slideshow applet or the better backgrounds. Okay, just some options for you. And you can also do it the manual way, of course. Whatever your you're doing and don't forget you you always have the resolution numbers if you're using the mint folders underneath here alt f4 to close 
and thank you for watching, folks.